contaminated pet food. You would not believe what some people have found in their pet's food. No, really, you gotta see this video. Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Click there to subscribe, hit the bell to sign up for notifications. Then when you click the link directly in the box below, I can send you a copy of my free book. You would not believe the number of different things that are found in this stuff, commercial pet food. I just finished reading a super interesting article in Susan Thixton's The Truth About Pet Food, where she shared a whole bunch of different tweets, posts, etc., where people have been feeding their dog or cat, and like you would not believe what's been found in some of the different commercial pet foods. Probably the most common reported contaminant you're pouring out kibble for your dog or cat, and what comes out? Look at that. A huge number of people have reported finding this in kibble, in canned food. Like, it's just disgusting. Mold, chunks of mold. And these fungal toxins are probably one of the most commonly reported contaminants, period. They've been responsible for an array of different pet food recalls. They can make your dog, your cat seriously, seriously ill. Just seizuring, liver disease, kidney disease. But that's not all. You decide to feed your dog, your cat, some canned food. You're opening that canned food. You're gonna give your dog a little scoop and what? What's that metal chunk of something that's in the canned food? more than just canned food. See that there? That's a screw, a metal screw. Believe it or not, finding chunks of metal in pet food, it's surprisingly common. You know, in something like this, this could cause serious, serious problems for your dog. You know, something sharp like this, a little sharp chunk of metal, in all likelihood, this is gonna lead to some type of perforation in their stomach, or their intestinal tract. You know, they could potentially even die from this. Also reported by many, many people. Really disturbing. You pour out your cat or dog kibble and what comes out? Yes, many, many of these guys. Worms. This little recreation. No, this isn't typical. You're not finding a test tube, but you are finding maggots. Like these pet foods are getting secondary contaminated with fly eggs. The eggs are hatching and out come like little white crawlies like in dog food, cat food, dry cable, canned food. But if flies have been allowed to lay eggs in that food and you're having maggots hatch out, like man there's a big issue there with you know, quality control, right? And what else is a contaminator? Right? Those flies are probably carrying fecal matter, you probably got E. coli up the yin yang, God knows what else. So what should you do about all this? First, if you find any of this stuff in your dog's food, your cat's food, I mean, report that to the FDA, especially something like this, right? I mean, this could kill a dog or a cat. But more importantly, in my opinion, like me, you, you should be feeding way less of this stuff, this commercial kibble, this commercial can stuff to our dogs and cats. For instance, last night for supper, I made a beef barley stew. Jula, she didn't get any of this garbage last night. She got beef barley stew. Thanks again for watching this edition of Veterinary Secrets. You know, what do you do? Well, demand better from the pet food companies. Like, you should not be seeing chunks of mold, like worms, chunks of metal in your dog or cat's food. If you see stuff like this in your dog or cat's food, don't just post it on social media. Also report it to the FDA. Thanks again for watching, it's Dr. Jones.